Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 25. So we have here our water buffalo and these are the ones which I bought at just zero months old. They're now 12 months old, so they're a year old and they're ready to move into our brand new enclosure where we can milk them for buffalo milk. Now the whole idea behind this is to buy them at zero months old or indeed breed them and then uh, yeah transfer them across to here where we can make money from them from milk and from mozzarella eventually the, the dairy will have to produce the mozzarella one step at a time but we are getting there slowly so i have another six here we are going to have to do quite a few shuttle runs but of course it's not very far to go <laughs> it is really just across uh, on the other side here it's just the other side of the track it couldn't really be much closer so yeah it's a little sensitive with where we need to be but there we go, six at a time, emptying the outdoor pasture and putting them into the pasture with the shed. But it has no food currently, so we're going to deal with the food in just a second. Maybe I shouldn't transfer them all yet, maybe I should just do some. Oh, crikey. Yeah, don't let the tracks keep rolling. It goes out of the trigger. Yeah, so I might just do a few. But of course, the more that we transfer, the bigger the trough capacity will become. So either way, we're going to have to feed them a lot of food. Like if we do it in two halves, I'll have to feed them twice. Because it will say that it's full, but then if we transfer more, it's going to actually free up more space in the trough for more food. So I will probably just do those few to begin with, and then we'll get some food across, and then we'll do some more. Otherwise, they're going to be going without food. Well, technically they're not, actually, because they do have the meadow grass. But I'm not too sure if that particular area has acquired the meadow grass in the trough yet. I do need to check up on that. So, yeah, there we go. Let's have a quicker look here. It's going to be in the cow barn. No, meadow is still showing zero, so they actually have no food. Water is plumbed in, I believe. I certainly hope so. Yep, that's good. They will be producing slurry, which we can put on the land, and... If we do straw, then, well, if we do straw and then get a manure pit, manure pile, we can do solid manure as well. Anyway, there we go. That's just the first few transferred. What I need to do now is grab silage buds. So we're going to be feeding them with silage initially, but long term, total mixed ration. The only reason why we can't do total mixed ration at the moment is because I can't afford a feed mixer. I could rent one, but to be honest, it seems pointless at this stage because we're going to be needing a, a feed mixer for the rest of the series, and renting one just seems silly because it's something that we need to buy outright and then keep forever. So, yeah, we're not going to waste our money. We'll just feed them with silage, which is still 80% effectiveness, so it's, it's really quite good. And then, yes, once we can afford it, we'll buy a feed mixer. So step one load up some bales onto the trailer. I hope the height isn't going to be an issue. I don't think it will be, actually. I think we'll be able to get into their enclosure quite well. Um, it seems quite tall. So, yeah, I also don't know how many to load up. So I might just take 12, probably about 12. That should be fine. Also, as it is April, our grass field is probably getting ready to cut. And we will be doing another cut of silage. As it turns out, this triangle here is actually extremely handy for unloading trailers. Because at the time I thought that was probably wasted land, but no, we need it. Right, so they've taken everything I've given them so far. Is that it though? That might be it. Right, okay, so let's have a look at that. Yep, 33,750 litres is the maximum. Funny they don't round it up, just 35. <laughs> okay, right, so that's fine. Um, but when we transfer more animals, I think that's going to increase the capacity. That must be the reason why it's a strange number. 
yeah, that, that's all I can think of. So, yeah, I'm now going to transfer the rest. So everybody who is over there is coming across here, whether they like it or not. And, well, I, I don't know 100% that they're ready for milking, but I, I'm really hoping that they are. They, they certainly look like they are. They really do. So, anyway, back into the Matthew Ferguson. We have quite a bit of shunting to do. Right, okay, so interestingly, the capacity has not changed for the silage, regardless of me bringing more water buffalo in. So there's 20 and 24. Um, I think the only reason for this is because, well, they've been split because I've um, done them in two batches, I'm guessing. But if we pass some time, I don't know how uh, frequently they're actually milked in the game, but if we just pass some time, let's see if any milk appears. Yes, yes, there's a litre. One litre has appeared. This is a very good sign. So hopefully, with all of them in there, that's going to go up. Or is it some spooky glitch where we only have one litre? I can't believe that would be the case. I'm sure that was showing zero before. Let's pass a bit more time. Uh, actually, I don't think we have anything else to do in April, so... Yep, we've got five litres. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So in the morning, we'll have a bit more milk. And... Yeah, then we can we can focus when we have the money on getting the dairy for processing this milk into mozzarella, which is an expensive product in the game. Already 528 litres of slurry, that's crazy. Uh, we'll probably have to somehow get an extension for the storage of that somewhere. It has to be in uh, the vicinity of this area, so I'm not quite sure where that's going to be. Uh, probably on another piece of land that we haven't yet purchased. But... Yes, this is good. How quickly was their food going down? I should really take a look at that. Uh, it hasn't. They must just be grazing the land then. It keeps it nice and low cost for us. As we are not doing that well financially now, um, <laughs> we have a £180,000 loan, or at least, or maybe it was 175. I don't remember exactly, but it was a lot. Um, I think, yeah, this seems like relatively easy money. It's not super easy money, because I'm not very good at loading. We're going to do a wood transport mission for Katie. So let us... Well, I'm going to have to borrow the items. Well, I don't have to... No. Let me think about this properly. I don't need to borrow the items. It would only be £400, though. Nah. Now, nah, I'm going to... I'm going to accept the contract. And I'm going to do it with the telehandler and this trailer. Right, we're homing in on the uh, wood pile somewhere over here. I just hope that because I have moved quite a lot of logs now with the telehandler, I'm gonna be able to do this fairly quickly. I just wish that this had the double thumb um, log fork instead of the, the single grab. Maybe double grapple is the right name for it. I'm not too sure. But anyway, here it is, right on the side of the road. Crikey. Ah, it's a dead end though, so maybe I can just block the road, that'd be good. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll just put it there. So, I know this is not actually a logging trailer. But, if I just go strapping at the same time, I might be able to do this with ease. Hopefully I can. Can I get two at the same time? Maybe not. Uh, maybe I can. Hang on, let's just see. Wow. <laughs> hey, can I get two side by side? Probably not. Or maybe I can. Everything I say seems to be uh, wrong. It's the opposite of everything I say. Right, there we go. So that's two. We'll push them across a bit. Mm, actually, I don't know if we will get two abreast. We'll have to see. Right. We we'll just open up the thumb or grapple as much as possible. No, I think I've uh, I've lost that nag. Oh no! <laughs> this is what's going to happen. I'll just roll them off accidentally. Do they fit? Ah, oh, it's so close, isn't it? But it's not. It's not quite wide enough, or not quite long enough, this trailer. Still, not too much of an issue, because we don't have an endless pile here. In fact, looking at it this way, it's an extremely easy job. 
as I say, whilst dropping it. Yeah, so we'll just get these loaded up and we'll get them taken up to, uh, I think it's Noah, who is uh, taking these off our hands. It's his sawmill, at least I think it is. And then we can collect £8,000 with no deductions because we are not renting machinery. Well, here we are, and I'm a bit concerned about getting up here. Is the telehandler going to have enough power? Now, I should have serviced it. Had I known it was going to be so steep, I should have serviced the telehandler to give it a bit more oomph. But it does seem to be moving. This is good to see. Traction seems to be more of an issue than power. Uh, we just need to get up to the top, and then we're fine, because this is exactly where it's going to. And then, yeah, providing we do get up to the top without getting stuck, I would say that was quite easy money, and certainly for the amount of money, that was an easy £8,000. So, where does it need to go to? It's interesting it's giving us a radius rather than just giving us a specific location. Hmm. Well, it must be over here, surely. Hmm. Or do we need to press this? We probably do need to press this. Aha! There we go. So, uh, wood transport finished. Do, I don't think we got a penalty, do we? Because it does say, uh, be careful not to damage them, as any damage will be deducted from your pay. But I think we did get... Four, yes, we did. £8,250. Not bad at all. Very good. So, let us get back to the farm. I could speak to Noah, but... I don't really have much to say to him. I saw you coming. I am prepared. What can I do for you? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Be more specific. Um. Let's explore what I can share with you. Okay, I'm done exploring. It may sound very strange to you. But emotions are boiling in me. It takes every fiber of my body to control my elevated levels of adrenaline, norepinephrine, and dopamine. I think we have discovered Mr. Angry. If you feel inclined to express it in that fashion, yes. Yes, I am. Oh, those stones. I wasted a whole weekend, having completed no real forestry work. All I did was move rocks. Rock after rock after rock. I felt like Sisyphus, just with removing rocks instead of rolling one up a hill. The drumming of machines is still echoing in my mind. David and I do not have a lot in common, but our dislike for stones is one of the rare things I can share with a simpleton like him. We talked about those forsaken rocks and stones. He told me how they are causing him great distress, as they remain strewn across the fields. One of his harvesting modules even fell victim to their existence. You see, they come in different sizes, and for each size there is a different solution. For small stones, you just need a soil roller to push them back into the ground, but this is only a temporary solution. 
The larger stones need to be picked up with a special machine. If you don't, damage to other machines might be inevitable. So you have to pick them up, thus hindering you from doing anything important. Such a waste of movement and energy. But my problem is not with the field stones. It is my contention with large rocks in the forest. <sighs> Just the mention of them causes me great anxiety. I can feel the pressure of my blood elevating as we speak. Right, so he's angry and he doesn't like rocks. Um, you are speaking from the bottom of your heart. I knew you would understand me. Perhaps you could help me with the removal of rocks once in a while. It is not a difficult task. The required machinery would be a hydraulic breaker, a skid steer loader, a wheel loader, and a trailer. Just aim the hydraulic breaker at the rocks and let the machine do the rest. Anyway, I believe I have calmed down at this point. It is true what people say. Sharing your current emotional state can be beneficial when trying to neutralize it. My neurological chemistry should be on an acceptable level again. Thank you for listening to my emotional outburst. It makes me feel ashamed. Mm -hmm. Darn, now I am mad at myself. Oh, don't be. I will redirect the anger at the rock. Yes, yes, you can punch a rock. You better leave. I, I better. Okay, well, we might do some rock clearing for him another time. Um, I, I think, although he thinks that he has calmed down, I think he needs to calm down a bit more first. But yes, once we do have a hydraulic breaker, a skid steer, a uh, wheel loader, a trailer, all that sort of stuff, which we don't really have, then I will probably be back to clear some of his rocks. I did actually do this, the rock clearing, I think, on... Um, in fact, I did on FS22, Platinum Edition, and it was pretty good. So I will definitely do a mission over here with the rock clearing. Um, but yeah, we, we are just focusing on the other stuff, but I think doing that wood contract was worth it. I didn't think he was ever gonna be quiet. The angry chatterbox. So we arrived back at the farm. Now we could buy some more baby buffalo, put them into that field, uh, or we could keep this money for horses. I think we'll probably get them for horses because we could breed these buffalo that we have. We've got quite a few. And I could actually transfer them back to the pasture, which would free up the area for milking. So, yeah, it's going to be a while before they can reproduce. I think it's 22 months and they're only 12. So a little while to go. But I think we'll be there before you know it. Anyway, with the exception of looking after Dave, I think we are done with April. In fact, well, Dave might be okay. Have we ridden Dave in April? I don't know. Let's go and find out. Dave, have we ridden you? <laughs> yes, we have to ask the horse. Uh, no, we have not. So let's just quickly go and take Dave for a ride. And then we'll give him a quick clean. And then we'll move on to May. Yeah, it is April, but it still does feel a little bit chilly. Where should we go? Uh, I think we'll just do a lap of this field. He just had to run through that muddy puddle, didn't he? Now look at him, he's filthy. Well, the riding is fulfilled. Now to give him a clean. So typical, you have to go through the mud. All right, that's that side done. Now for this side. Ah, oh, you're looking much better. Much better indeed. And now he is 100% clean. So he is now worth 1,294 pounds, that will increase once we've rested. He's still got food and he's still got hay, so everything is good with Dave. Let's go to sleep. Let's move on to May. Yeah, I do wish that the fog would lift a bit. I also wish the flickering. I keep getting random flickering of the screen and of texturing. I wish that would be fixed. And I remember the tree flickering in FS22. That I, Was it ever fixed? If it was, then it was like... A year or two into release it, it took ages so giants please please just if you can sort out these issues because they are that they are detracting from the gameplay experience right okay so we did suddenly have a 600 pound loan uh, interest on the loan it is unfortunate but what can you do we've got to have the loan 
So yeah, we can get a horse. I think actually I'm going to leave that to the next episode. I was going to get one, but no, we'll leave it to the next episode. Next episode, I'll read out the results of the vote. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to not spend all the money as, as soon as we get it, because it would be good to get some products built up so we can sell them as well. So let's just check the situation with our first. I think they're all okay. I don't think we need to do anything with them, but I just need to make sure. Yep, they're all fertilized. They seem good. Um, they don't need weeding or liming. So we do need a roller. We definitely do need a roller. Something we need to work towards. Anything in sale? A car. Crikey, a Skoda car. Well, obviously we can't afford it at the moment, but it would be nice to have a car. Although we'd probably rarely use it. So, well, the temple. We do need to check upon that temple. Yeah, so it requires the next load of cement bags. I, well, I have decided to, uh, to not do anything else with that at the moment. Because I think there's going to be so many steps for building this temple that we should just get the cement factory when we can afford it. So that's what we'll do. Because also our our own shed requires cement bags. So it's going to be a good idea to just hold off doing that at the moment. We're not going to buy any more materials. So, yeah, we're in a good place. Everything is looking very healthy. Harvest will be coming up in the near future. I think we'll check the contract list once again. And if there is a quick contract that we can do what am i doing if there's a quick contract that we can do then we'll do it oh look at that now that's more tempting it's still a machine that i'm really rubbish at using and there are 19 crikey oh, that, that annoys me so <laughs> there's also stone picking to do uh, crikey deadwood is that, it's not nearby, it's near the... Tub, yeah, I want to be nearby. It's going to take me forever, isn't it? It's going to take me absolutely forever to load these up. I, I think I already regret doing this. <laughs> but it's nice to explore a new machine. So, so we will. We will do this. I suppose it won't be too bad in the time-lapse. It is nice to finally drive a lorry in this game, because I've, I've not driven a lorry yet in 25. I've not been able to afford it. So doing a contract is the best way of experiencing that. But no, no, a telehandler... Well, I suppose I could, use, still, I could still use a telehandler. I could use a telehandler to load up this truck. It's not even that far to go with the telehandler. Okay, we're going to have to do it in the middle of the road. Interesting. So, yes, I have no idea how this is going to go. Um, maybe I'd be better off the other way around. I'm not too sure. We've got the hazards on. Right, so you can see us there in our operating seat. I'm sure I will be able to do it, but it will just take a bit of, well, a bit more practice. It's quite a big grab too, so you'd, you'd hope that it can do two at a time. The reason why I'm doing this is because it is £10,000, although deducting the uh, the rental fee, which is quite good money. It's very good money. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. That's probably going to drop it. But if I can get it in... That would be good. Oh, 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 yeah, this is going to take... This is going to take some practicing. But yeah, I think in a time-lapse I should be okay. It is, after all, easier to concentrate. How do you... Oh, okay. Yeah, I just need to figure out all these controls. There we go. <laughs> I finally got the first two in.
don't think I was supposed to pick up four. Uh, right, so if I can get four in one go, that would be a huge time save. But no, 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 that was never meant to be, was it? It just seemed ridiculous and was ridiculous, so that's just made a mess. Oh well. <laughs> I had a chance, but uh, yeah. Oh no! So I picked up four and I got one in. Well, I got one and a half in. Well, that wasn't too bad in the end. We've just got one left, so let me grab that. And then we will be done, and we can collect our £10,000. Although, yes, there was a deduction there for renting this machine. Hopefully it wasn't too much. I didn't actually look at the, uh, the details of that, but it's not normally that expensive. It's normally about £500-ish, pounds, like four, £400 to £1,000. This is a much more expensive machine, so it might have been more. But anyway, there we go. They're all in. Well, they're in enough <laughs> for the game. Ah, no, I wasn't expecting that. Good. Okay, so we need to get back over to the same place as before. How exactly do we get there from here? So go back down there, I guess, and then up there. Okay. Yeah, you can't drop in from above because that's actually the edge of the map. Right. So yeah, I would do that again. I certainly would do that again. It wasn't quite as difficult as I was expecting, and of course it didn't probably look very good because I wasn't very good at it, but the point is I did get them in. And that's really all that matters. Well, getting them in safely is all that matters, but uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's a game, so we don't need to be super safe. Yeah, next time we are going to be buying horses. I do think that they are going to be a very good source of income. They are quite labour intensive, of course, as is anything which is living. It needs to be looked after, it needs to be trained. But, um, yeah, at the same time, I think it's going to be a good source of income. Because they're not that expensive to buy when we buy them. Because they're untrained, they are just horses. Um, but we are training them up to be very obedient horses, very healthy and very fit horses. So they should be worth several thousand pounds each when we come to sell them. You always know where I've been. Because there'll be a signpost on the floor. And I don't think they reset, do they? Because I keep seeing signposts which have been knocked over, but not in this session. So I think <laughs> I think my uh, the evidence of me being somewhere stays forever, unfortunately. Okay, so into the trigger. We always seem to get a little bonus as well, like 15 or 20 pounds. Is that a tip? I don't know. Yeah, you got 25 pounds. But, on top of the incredible 25 pounds, we do have... 10,250 minus... Oh, it's only 200 pounds, wow. Only 200 to rent the truck. So we do have... 23,655 pounds. I do like that lorry, it would be very nice to get the lorry again in the future. But we're going to have to leave this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please do remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.